In this example, we want to use the direct comparison series test uh, to determine whether the series converges or diverges. Okay. So the way we use the direct comparison test is that we have to pick a series that resembles the one that we're given. Okay. And the way we do that is kind of similar to the way we, if, you know, if we have like a rational function. And let's assume that the degree of the denominator and the degree of the numerator are equal. Okay, so if you want to find the horizontal asymptote of that function, then you would just take the leading, the ratio of the leading coefficients. So we can do, we can apply the same idea here to find the uh, series that resembles this one. Okay, so looking at our series, okay, we have one over two plus three to the n. So basically, we have just one on top, right? And then on the bottom, we have a two and a three to the n. So three to the n is going to be more significant than the constant. Okay, so we can use this part, okay, we can use this as a way to, uh, for our series to resemble this one, okay. Alright, so that's the series we're going to use, okay. Alright, so this is, so this resembles, and what I mean by resembles, it means we can kind of say it has a similar behavior, okay. Now keep in mind the series that we pick, we have to know, um, we'll have to know whether it diverges or converges, and then depending on that, um, that's how we're going to determine how to set up our our inequality. Okay. So, in this case, uh, this is a this is a geometric series. Okay. And why is that? Well, we can well, we can write it this way. Okay, so this is a geometric series with right with r equals to one third. Okay. Okay. So now so since and this is converging, okay. Since r is right, since r is less than it's between right, it's less than one, okay, it's between zero and one, so this is converging, okay. So that means, okay, we're going to use the series as a bound, okay, all right, so we want to look at the the sequence part now, so, okay, so now we want to show that this, the sequence part for the, from the original series is less than the sequence part from the uh, from the series that that resembles the original. Okay, so this is going to be one over three to the n. Okay. All right. Okay, so now, so this is true statement, and actually we can verify this algebraically. Um, this is the same as, we can rewrite this as 3 to the n, okay, less than 2 plus 3 to the n. And that's a safe operation uh, because um, the terms that we're looking at are positive, so we don't need to worry about flipping the inequality, okay. And then we can uh, rewrite this. This is going to give us, basically this is going to give us uh, 0 less than 2. So this is a true statement, okay? Okay, this is a true statement for, uh, for the, you know, for the for all n, okay, for all n, and that's in our series going from one to infinity. Okay, so therefore, okay, because, all right, so therefore, since, one over three to the n converges. So this is acting as a bound, okay? So since this series converges, therefore, right? Right? Since this converges, therefore we can say that the original series converges.
okay so that's how the direct comparison works okay so we you have to pick a series that resembles the original one and then determine whether it's uh, diverging or converging okay in this case this one the one we chose is converging and then we were able to use that as the upper bound okay